Hi, I'm Dr. John Duyard, and welcome to LifeSpot.com. And today I want to talk about the next extinction. You know, you all heard that because of food shortages and a growing population, we're not going to have enough food to feed this species of ours, and we're going to go extinct. Uh, a book out now called Countdown is talking about the science of fertility and how it's declined dramatically in the last 50 years. Since the 1970s, the fertility rates have declined by 50%, another source of extinction according to the science. Well, a new study came out recently in the, in the prestigious journal Nature talking about another cause of extinction, and that is called microbial diversity, not having enough good diverse bugs in the gut. And this study actually measured poo samples from ancient humans about a thousand years ago that were stored in a museum and they were able to figure out a way to actually get the samples and actually measure the microbes in the poo and uh, found that there was a significant lack of microbial diversity and dozens and dozens of species were just flat out missing when they compared the ancient poo to modern species, modern, mo the modern microbiome, which was really interesting. And the researchers at Stanford said this could be actually the next extinction, that when you have lack of microbial diversity, you all heard that idea, right? That we should have more, more diverse, different types of bugs in our gut that gives us more resiliency to different things. And one study they said in the last 50 years, uh, 35 years rather, that the, the food choices that we eat has declined by 50%. In other words, we're eating more monocultured foods, eating more of the same foods, processed foods, not the diverse traditional cultural foods that were, that were traditionally used around the world. People are eating just packaged foods more and more, and we're not getting the bugs from those foods because they're sterile in nature, which is really, really bad. And they link that to all types of health concerns, including obesity, diabetes, um, allergies, uh, irritable bowel conditions, uh, and a host of other degenerative concerns. So they're thinking this could be the next uh, cause of extinction. And we can fix that by actually just really supporting organic foods and getting more diversity. I love the idea, which I write a lot about, about seasonal eating, getting the right bugs in the right season at the right time of the year, because we know now, the science is in, that the bugs change from one season to the next to the next in the soil, and they're supposed to, according to hunter-gatherer studies, that they actually change in our guts from one season to the next. You know, to help have the bugs in the spring to decongest you, have the bugs in the summer to get rid of heat, have the bugs in the winter to boost immunity. These all change and they're all important and they all work. In fact, the studies show that, the studies show that the, uh, the bugs in the soil have a synergistic relationship with the plant. And it's not just that the bugs are probiotics and they have their separate role and the plant has biochemistry and it has a separate role. The newest research is showing that they actually work synergistically. So the plants have bugs on them that help the plants do their job better inside of us and also in nature. They all work together. And we obviously make sense, right? Because we evolved eating plants from the ground, getting those bugs in the gut at the right time of the year in the right season with the right foods because it all went together automatically. We decided to sort of separate that out and process the heck out of our food, eat sterile food, and then add a probiotic and somehow hopefully it'll all work together. It's a little random idea uh, and not working great. You know, now people are hooked on having to take probiotics for the rest of their life, which I don't think is a th really important or necessary, but they work you know, in a pinch as a fix if you don't actually want to address the real reason, which is to start eating seasonal organic whole foods in your diet. Uh, and that's why we published a, a three season eating guide for free, anybody can get it. Uh, every month we send out a recipe list and a grocery list and a superfood list for March, March, April, May, June, July, every month for free with recipes that are super cool. So you can go, oh, here, this is what's cool. This is what's happening in the spring. You may eat more of these spring foods and get the right bugs at the right season at the right time. That's the magic of what we're talking about. In that study in nature, when they took the ancient um, you know, uh, poo samples and they saw a, a lack of bugs and lack of species, you know, many, many species just missing in the modern versus the ancient poops. Um, they found that they, the diets were dramatically higher in fiber. In fact, uh, Daniel Lieberman, a Harvard professor, wrote a book called The Story of the Human Body and found that the ancient humans, hunter-gatherers, had about 100 grams of fiber in their diet per day. 
and we get about 15 or 20, right? So we're not even close to what they had. Fiber feeds the bugs, and that's what's important for our microbiome is to give them their, their food. And there's two types of fiber, soluble fiber, which is the slimy fiber, and insoluble fiber, which is the roughage, which you get in the spring and the summer when you're eating you know, roots and vegetables that, that you mix them in water and they're still sort of astringent and they don't really break down. But grains and nuts and seeds, uh, they have more soluble fiber slime in them, and they're really good in the winter. And that slime is vata balancing, antidotes the dryness of winter. So you get the cleaning out benefit of the roughage and soluble fiber in the spring, and the lubricating benefits of the uh, fiber, soluble fiber in the fall when all the grains and the seeds and stuff are harvested in the fall. So you get them when they're, na when they're in season, which always makes sense. It's hard to ignore the logic of that. You can't get around it. It's how we should eat. And we're not getting that message loud and clear. I keep pounding the table trying to get that point across. We end up with a new crate, crate late keto, carnivore, this diet, that diet. Can we just eat what God put on the table for us in the season in its natural form and get the right bugs at the right time of year? Which is actually why at Life Spa, oh, by the way, and there's an article we have called, you know, Get the Right Fiber, which talks about all the different fibers. There are a lot of articles on fiber, like the different fibers for Vata, Pitta, Kapha. I have articles on that as well. Pretty cool to get tuned into the the different types of fiber that are out there. And that's why at LifeSpa.com, all of our products, our, our, our whole food line, our whole herb line of products rather, are just the actual herbs out of the ground, organic, put in the capsule. We measure the microbes before when we get the herb and after we encapsulate the formula. And we know that those are actually probiotics in a capsule that give you massive diversity in your gut. So sterile extracts are sterile and you, they work great and they're potent, but you're not gonna get the microbial diversity that they're thinking is the next extinction process um, when you're taking everything sterile, processed foods, sterile packaged foods, sterile herbs that have really potent biochemistry, but not the magic of the bugs. And that's why I have a big fan, have always been a big fan of using the whole herb, formulating them in a traditional ways to maximize the microbial benefit as well as the biochemical benefit. And they go together and they have been going together for thousands and thousands of years. All right, that's it for me. Check out the article at lifespot.com. Please subscribe to our channel uh, below if you could uh, and join us every week and we'll give you more information about ancient Ayurvedic wisdom and modern science. Check out this article at lifespot.com. Talk to you next week. Do you like this video? Don't forget to subscribe and share. This recording is brought to you by LifeSpa, where ancient Ayurvedic wisdom meets modern science. Get access to free health video newsletters by Dr. John at LifeSpa.com. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. These products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease.